Okay, guys, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your pork chops. Um, I cut mine off and took them off the bone only because I don't like eating it with the bone, but I do cook it with the bone if you get what I mean. But yeah, um, I'm just doing two, these were two um, pork chops, so I just cut the bone off of them. You can do as many as you need. This does up to like, I don't remember how many pounds, but I'll put that in the link below, like exactly the recipe, like how many you need. And it's pretty much this recipe that I'm making for a whole family dinner. For like dinner. You're going to need your two cups of um, flour, salt, cayenne, onion powder, um, pepper, and garlic powder, I believe. And I just mixed this up here, this little thingy. Um, did I say black pepper and black pepper? I'll put the exact measurements down below or just put them in um, after this slide and I'll tell you how much you actually need. You're also going to need your uh, cup of stock. If you want me to show you how to make mine, just leave a comment down below or just thumbs up this video just to let me know that you want me to make a video for it. And then, of course, your pan and then some... I'm going to cook this with olive oil, so, yeah. And, yeah, let's wait for the next slide, and I will write down everything you need for this smothered pork recipe. In this shallow bowl, I'm going to put the one cup of flour. my spices okay so I'm just gonna give this a quick even stir Okay, now that we have that heating up, so I'm just going to grab um, a piece of my pork chop, and then I'm just going to put this in the flour, and then just shake, and then I'm just going to keep doing that with all of my pieces, and just make sure to shake off the excess flour. Okay, now that we have our pork, cho pork chops covered in our flour mixture, now we're just going to lie them into the the pan and we're only going to leave these in for like about three minutes sorry if I moved the camera too much it's just that it blocks my view a little now make sure to use a bigger pan than me I kind of forgot that I was putting in the bones. I'm just going to leave this in for about 3 minutes on medium heat. And then I'll show you how to make the gravy after this. So after 3 minutes, don't forget to take them out of the pan. And then I'll show you how to make the gravy after this. So after 3 minutes, don't forget to take them out of the pan. Okay, and this is what it should look like after three minutes. Okay, so now that I have my drippings here, I'm just going to sprinkle some of flour. Just sprinkle it in there. I'm just going to stir it. And then you're just going to keep doing that until you get the nice brown mixture right there. Okay, so I went ahead and added my one cup of broth. And then just keep stirring this until it's liquefied and creamy and thick. You can also add a buttermilk just to thicken it up even more. Okay, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to add a little bit of this um, beef base. And then a little bit of beef seasoning, just so I can make more gravy. So I'm just going to be stirring this little beef base around. Just so I can make it um, brown gravy instead of white. I'm just going to stir this, keep stirring it, and continue letting it simmer. 
Okay, so since this is simmering now, I am going to add my pieces of pork. Sorry if I'm zooming in too close to the pork. Okay, so I'm just going to start grabbing them and putting them in there. Okay, so let's grab this bad boy. And then I'm just going to put all of them in there, just putting them in nice and neatly. And then we're going to simmer for another about 5 to 10 minutes just until your pork chops are ready. Okay, now that our pork is ready, I just served a plate right here with mashed potatoes in the center. Then I'm just gonna grab this piece right here. And I'm just gonna place it right on top. So this is my first time making it and this is how mine came out so and I remember I did mine brown yours is gonna if you don't do it like how with the beef um it's it called the beef base if you you are gonna have white gravy so enjoy and thank you for watching